This is Mark Sebastian. I'm the founder of OptionPit.com with your AM volatility report. Reminder, we got a big event on Saturday. Using volatility to trade direction. Uh-oh, I forgot to update the price. So you've got now, uh, again, 20 minutes before I go in and update the price. But it's still only going to be uh, $97. So that's a good deal. And so uh, you're going to be a happy camper if you get yourself signed up for that. So now let's talk about the market. Well, as you uh, spies up a touch, uh, kind of a slow news day other than some earnings out. So not the most exciting day. You're looking and saying, well, Mark, the VIX is up, but, but S&P is up. Remember, we have this thing called weekend effect that is affecting uh, the markets. And basically what weekend effect basically causes VIX to drop, you know, call it three quarters of a point uh, between Thursday and Friday. Then it picks it back up on Monday. So the VIX is basically unchanged and the market is unchanged. So uh, the only area where we're seeing any movement is in the November future, which now that we're in November, uh, remember it's a regular expiration. So expiration is the 19th. So it's got 16 days. Uh, with 16 days to go, uh, a point, yeah, about right, about right. So there's no drive for it to really fall much this morning. Um, and, the, and any real expectations for a quick drop in like UVXY or VXX should be kind of thrown out at this point. They're going to they're gonna move toward a more normal pace. Um, you know, with the lack of movement in the S&P, you can see it's followed by lack of movement in the NDX which is probably the strongest mover, a little bit of movement in rut, and uh, very little in the Dow. Dow's down a little bit, and uh, a little bit uh, positive in S&P. But the only place where there's really any strength is in, um, is in, the, uh, is in the NDX. Um, and so, you know, it's still tech. Look at Apple. Apple's the, a big mover, big shaker. Amazon, from terrible earnings to has picked up every dollar that it gave away. Uh, Facebook, hanging around that $75 level, has not, you know, since touching 73 has basically been kind of up. Uh, IBM seems to be kind of found a floor. LinkedIn continues to look really good. Um, the one that was really dragging of, of what we, I like to call the loved stocks is Twitter, and it's still having problems. All right? Netflix has picked up a lot of everything. The only one that really looks weak is Twitter. You know, Twitter is maybe a little overvalued. I think that's what the market is telling us. Uh, Goldman's now back toward 190, and you know what they say about stocks that are at 190. When they go to 190, they're probably going to 200. Baba now over 100. So all the love stocks are pushing higher today. Um, if there's one that maybe is a little weak for it, it's Tesla, which normally has a pretty high beta relative to uh, a 1% move. So that's where we could see some strength. On the day, we're going to be up on the day. We are going to rally. The market is going to be higher. All right. The VIX will end up probably close to flat when all is said and done. That's kind of the way I'm seeing things lining up. All right, everybody. I will, uh, if you've got any questions, you can email me marketoptionpit.com, and I will talk to you soon.